24th. But today's guilty plea does give hope to a central Texan on death row. Chris Willis has the connection between Jimmy Finnell and Rodney Reed. Robert, a lot of people are keeping a close eye on the case of Jimmy Finnell. His guilty pleas today could play a major role in the appeal process of convicted murderer Rodney Reed. A murder case that some say still has many unanswered questions. I need to know that I'm an innocent man sitting on death row. People are going to be convicted when they're actually innocent. Bryce Benjet represents death row inmate Rodney Reed, convicted in the strangulation death of 19-year-old Stacy Stites in April of 96. The last time I saw Stacy alive was the night before. Reed has always maintained his innocence, claiming his DNA found in Stites' body was there because the two were secretly dating. We were together. We had sex. But it's not Reed's DNA that's at issue. It's the DNA on these beer cans found near Stites' dead body. DNA that excludes Rodney Reed, but instead points to two former cops and friends of Stites' fiance, then Giddings police officer Jimmy Fennell. The same Jimmy Fennell who became a Georgetown cop and who has now pled guilty to kidnapping and improper sexual activity with a woman in his custody. Despite failing two lie detector tests when asked if he killed his fiance, Fennell was ruled out as a suspect because investigators say he could not have dumped Stites' body and returned home in the established timeline. That's also assuming he was alone and didn't have a ride. A report issued by the DPS Crime Lab links the beer cans to David Hall, then a Giddings police officer, friend, next-door neighbor, and partner of Jimmy Fennell, and Ed Samella, also a cop and acquaintance of Fennell's. A further DNA report excludes 99.9% .9 of the entire Caucasian population, but Hall and Samella could not be excluded. Samella has since killed himself. The DNA on these beer cans links law enforcement officers to the crime scene. Associates, close associates of Mr. Fennell. It may have been an honest mistake. It doesn't matter. We didn't get it. Private investigator Dwayne Olney says that DNA evidence was withheld by prosecutors in the Reed trial and thus never heard by the jury. It is frustrating when you look at all these things that are starting to fit into place. Like the man who oversaw the Reed investigation, Bastrop Sheriff Richard Hernandez who also turned out to be a dirty cop and pled guilty to six felonies. And a Bastrop woman who claims she wanted to testify but was never called. She claims to have seen Jimmy Fennell and Stacy Stites together the very morning of that murder. That's the kind of information a jury ought to hear. And with the Reed case still in the appeals court, prosecutors have all declined our request for an interview. But our sources with the state tell us if you're going to look at the arrest of Jimmy Fennell as proof that Rodney Reed is innocent, and the same holds true for Rodney Reed's background, which we came here to the Bastrop County Courthouse to dig up. It includes three charges for sexual assault, one for criminal attempt and one for unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. But surprisingly, all were filed on the same day, just prior to Rodney Reed's murder trial. And they are all still open, meaning Rodney Reed has never been convicted on any of these charges. Rodney Reed's lawyers are asking the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals for a new trial, and they cited Jimmy Fennell's recent charges in their motion. Meantime, Fennell's attorney told us today the Reed appeal is the work of creative lawyers trying to do whatever they can to save a man from death row. Chris Willis, KXAN, Austin News.